enjoyed the Move with the Sound Lab. Let's take a look at the different ways the frequency and pitch can affect the sounds that you hear. Sound is a form of energy that travels in waves. It requires a medium such as a liquid or a solid to travel. They actually travel the fastest through solid materials. Sound vibrations can be measured in frequency. The higher the frequency, the more energy is carried by the wave. High frequencies are heard as high pitches, meaning that there are more sound vibrations in a higher pitch. This is why a scream, a glass breaking, or high notes on a piano have an ear-splitting or shrill feeling. Every musical note has its own frequency. On a guitar, for example, the slower the string vibrates, the lower the pitch will be. The faster a string vibrates, the higher the pitch will be. A string's length or tension is what affects the speed of vibration as well as the pitch. A guitarist will press the string against the neck of the guitar to create tension, meaning less of the string will vibrate. If the guitarist presses the string near the head of the guitar, the string will vibrate less and the note will be lower. However, if the guitarist presses the string close to the bridge of the guitar, the string will vibrate more and the pitch will be higher. The width of the string also affects the pitch. On a guitar, the lowest string is wider than the rest. It produces a lower pitch because it requires more energy to vibrate and will vibrate less than a very thin string. The amplitude of a sound wave determines the loudness at which we hear it. The larger the wave, the louder the sound will be. Now that you've learned about frequency and pitch, let's go over a few content statements. Sound is a wave that travels by oscillating pressure through a solid, liquid, or gas. As the frequency of vibration changes, the pitch of sound also changes. High frequency produces higher pitch. Low frequency produces lower pitch. Changing the length or tension of an object, such as a guitar string, changes the number of vibrations and how fast or slow they move, which affects the pitch or sound. A longer string will produce a lower pitch with a lower frequency. A shorter string will produce a higher pitch with a higher frequency. Thank you for watching. Now you know how music is created. Take a look at your favorite instruments and try to figure out how the various pitches are created.